Time to play some Vesper Van Art with a little bit of Blitz. Alright, this is excellent. I have a Holy Cloaker right now. Things are looking a little bit brighter than before. I'm going to keep this hand because this is a nice Vesper heavy hand. Now this deck is pretty much a Vesper Van Art with a little bit of Blitz. And Blitz is a 2 mana card that buffs all your minions by a 1 by 1 and puts them onto your opponent's side of the field. I mean, I guess it's kind of a random effect, so sometimes it'll hit them, sometimes it won't. Oh, Helm. Well, that's a good one, my man. That's a good one. I can clear it off, which is the good thing about this. Not exactly something I want to clear, but it seems like something I have to do. It does allow me to put more pressure. Also seems like a very good trade. I guess it's kind of punished by a Maw. But otherwise, still pretty good. Oh, this is a good hand to keep also. So I might actually be able to use the Glacier Elementals to take out the Mechsaur, which is really insane. I just have to be a little bit aware of the Saber Spine Tigers. I need to pressure them out, that's pretty much how the game is going to go. Let's put down the Vesper Call first, see if I can grab anything pretty nice. I guess I might want to have the Mass Spring for something else later. Although I did plan on getting, take the Mass Spring, but it seems like there's no need to do that. I'm just going to keep this hand, this is insane. Yeah, I can take out Mechsaur with the Bone Chill Barrier, so it's pretty neato. Although it does depend on whether he can put down anything. 3 mana 4 5 is pretty insane. That's why this period call is just so insane. Oh man, Hellstone Prison is also really insane. Also, guess where the effect. And Snow Rippler is not that great after <laughs> that. Huh, that's a tough one. Oh, wrong order. Yeah, I meant to put down the Glacier Elemental first, I don't know why. Although this is a di kind of different play, but that's kind of lucky that I managed to play this Crystal Cloaker instead of the Snow Chaser. I guess I could have gone with the Bloodborne spell with the Snow Chaser, it's not too bad, but this 5-4 is really insane. This turn should be a Mechsaur, and I can take that really simply just through my Glacier Elemental, second Glacier Elemental, Bunch of Bear. Oh, Saber Spine Tiger is also pretty insane. Oh, it's out of cards, so... Presto, Plasto. Although I do have the Chromatic Hold already, so I don't feel like I need to keep holding on to this kind of stuff. So I'll just take out the Saber Spine Tiger. No biggie. A little doubtful that he'll have the damage next turn. Next turn they'll be at like 5 attack, I believe. So it wouldn't be enough damage. At least it shouldn't be. <laughs> Woo! Unfortunately, without drawing onto the spell jammers, this that Kara deck is kind of low on the curve. So you definitely need to really think about future plays. Pretty much, he had three helms of mech swords, but not too useful when you don't have any cards. A little bit too late for a mech sword as well. Thirteen damage on the board, my man. Our 3 damage to spell. I still have enough on the board just to take you out, so I don't know what you're thinking about, my man. Yeah, well, why would you put Lacan in that deck? Generically, we can deal with mech decks just by putting on the dispels on the mech sword. Usually everyone runs in Furious Shroud, so at least you want to, whoa, position yourself in a way that you can definitely take out the mech sword just by putting in Furious Shroud on board. This requires you to take board control because, you know, usually you can because mechs are a little bit weaker. So once you maintain that board control, make sure to stay around middle, make sure you can keep within reach of all four corners. Or you can play, you know, Vesper Banner because you do, typically don't have a problem with Chromatic Holes which can dispel Mech Swords because it targets a space. Anyway, check out the next game where we can see how well Vesper Banner can really pressure out opponents. Now Blitz and the Blazing Spines is what I want, but I'm going to get rid of Blitz because it's a little bit too situational for my taste. Should I put down Snow Chaser? Snow Chaser I can combo off with a Heart 
the sisters. I don't need to worry too much about it not getting value. In fact, it'll get infinite value. And it's even better if he puts it down, puts a minion down here, right? To prevent the snow chase from going there, because that means I can grab a mana spring and get rid of a minion, which puts me really, really far ahead on board. Or he could have a blood to alchemist, which would be insane. But hopefully that doesn't happen. That is a problem card. Well, it, it's not a problem card yet. That's for sure. Just put down the blazing spines here. I'll just wait until next turn to get rid of the Jaxa. I guess I don't really need the Bone Chill Barrier. I should have replaced it a few turns ago, but I guess I was hoping that get a Glacier Elemental going. The Jaxi is a little bit unfortunate. I'll get rid of one of the Spell Jammers. Next turn I do have a Vesper Call, so hopefully I can get something good like a Glacier Elemental. Or any card pretty much is really great with a Vesper Call. Next turn might be a good turn for Blitz because he's still on this side of the board, so running away when may or may not be good. <laughs> I just want to play the Blitz! I should have held on to the Blitz just so... I can see what's going down. So Blitz should go onto the, my opponent's starting field, so there should be just Lee's 20 spots. Seems like a good chance I'd be able to get on a good spot, right? Ooh, that's pretty insane. Next turn is Inquisitor Kron, so I will have to prepare for that. Oh, uh, looks like a Dispel. Ah, that is... Uh, I don't really like that play too much. He probably wants to attack with Jaxian to this dude, right? No? Well, it's definitely quite odd. I guess he was playing around Warbird or something. Snow Chaser, Snow Chaser, Snow Chaser! Alright, let's use a Vesper Call here. Yeah, that's one of the worst outcomes. I guess 11-5 is not too bad. But otherwise, it's kind of mediocre, I'd say. Now I have a problem that I have too many cards, which is a little bit awkward. I'm going to let the, some one of the snow chasers die. Oh no, I did not play it fast enough. Ah, oh, that stinks. I get. Oh no, no, I didn't get to play the snow chaser. It definitely looked like I had enough time, but the turn ended a little too soon. But this guy's pretty big. Eleven five for four is actually not too bad. Well, I guess it's eleven five for five, really. Horn of the Forsaken. Oh yeah, I, I really need to get my bone chill barriers and uh, glacier elementals going down. Oh, it's going to get rid of these. That's interesting. At least he ran out of cards. Maybe he doesn't have Inquisitor Kron because he's running some unusual choices like Horn of the Forsaken. Wouldn't call that the strongest card for a vision, but who am I to say? A Wrathing Fury that is a pretty strong card. Hopefully he does not attack me with it. Attack that. Nope, he's going to attack me. No, he's going to attack that. That's even better. I have them all. That's perfect. I actually got rid of that <laughs> pretty niftily. Okay. Oh, this could be good later. A 4 mana 11-5 is pretty good to play. I kind of have different priorities at the moment. I guess I have a lot of cards, so I don't need a spell jammer. A lot of nice cards as well. And Snow Chaser. Unfortunately, I did make a little bit of a mistake before, but I think I've kind of recovered a little bit. I'm putting it down here, so his general probably wants to move up that way. Unfortunately, my hand's not that great, but he doesn't have too many cards, so as long as I can handle threat after threat, I should be doing pretty well for myself. I just need to hold on to a chromatic hold, because I'm a little bit afraid of, uh, oh, well, I'm also afraid of that. That's a lot of damage. 16 damage? That put me at 7. But that's going to put him behind on board, so I don't think it's the best play. Unless you can close out the game next turn if you have some kind of rush bonanza. Oh, no, otherwise, not a very big fan of this play. Although it is a lot of damage, it's hard to pass up on that much damage. If that's a Provoke Shieldmaster, then that would be a really good play. But I do have the Warbirds, so Provoke Shieldmaster over there is not that great. Rathling Swarm. That is pretty great. Although I still have a Warbird. <laughs> Guess I'll get rid of a spell jammer. I don't want to give him any cards. <laughs> I do want to play it so bad. <sighs> is it time to play Blitz? Oh, yes, it is. 
Let's play the Blitz. Let's see what goes down. Hopefully nothing too terrible. Yeah, that was excellent. That's exactly what I wanted from a Blitz. It's all I hoped for. Man, I would have liked to see myself put some avalanches or some range minions in that because that blitz is really insane and even better with those cards. <laughs> I, that didn't really accomplish much. Oh, it did let me keep a snow chaser, so actually that was pretty awesome. It pretty much buffed everything by one and put my heart seeker into action. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Okay, so that means he doesn't have any way to remove this dude, which is sweet. Or does he? And one card, it's not like he's going to be able to deal 7 with one card. He's not Songhai. Ooh. Kind of a big deal. Can't really afford to take that damage though. For one card, that Blood Moon Priestess was a good pickup. I have to say that. But he's just dead to the board, right? So. He should have ran away. There's no reason to attack him there. I guess he got extra wrath playing. I mean, he's still dead to the board. Well, I guess there's some lucky circumstances, but nah. Nah, nah, nah. Easy! <laughs> the end of the video, that was a Vesper banner with. Blitz starting, unfortunately I felt like the Blitz does actually work well with the walls. It much would work much better with the range minions or avalanche or even the glacier elemental and the voice of wind which are already in the deck because they put on some pressure for your opponent to kind of chase after them because they represent kind of infinite value. But you know, it was a very strong deck just because Vester Banner is super strong. This bear call, I cannot say enough about that card. It's so insane in Vesper Vanar. Maybe a little bit too strong, but anyway, that was a really sweet deck. Be sure to check out some more videos and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you.